law covenant at Mount Sinai. Moses served as mediator between God and Israel at Mount Sinai. The people there covenanted to keep the divine law. God promised that if they could do so perfectly, they should have everlasting life. Furthermore, they could then comply with the sacrificial conditions of the seed of Abraham, typified in the offering of Isaac, and inherit the promise, In thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. The people eagerly accepted the arrangement, saying, All these things will we do, not realizing the full import of the law. Jesus explained it to me to love God with all the heart, mind, soul, and strength, and one's neighbor as oneself. Imperfect like all mankind, the Jews could not keep this perfect law. Unworthy of life, they could not redeem others, hence could not bless other nations. When they became discouraged, God assured them that later he would make a new or more favorable covenant with them through a greater than Moses, who would help them out of their fallen condition and fit them to be the channel for the divine blessing to men. In due time, Jesus came, the promised Messiah, not in glory as they had expected, but in a lowly condition to die for sin. He came unto his own nation, and his own received him not. They crucified him. Nevertheless, Jesus began his work of selecting spiritual Israel, the spiritual seed of Abraham. He accepted first the loyal Jews, Still, there were not enough to complete the foreordained number of the elect. Consequently, the call to be the elect Abrahamic seed was extended to the Gentiles. For more than 18 centuries, he has been gathering the elect spiritual seed of Abraham, the holy from every nation and sect. When complete, these, the bride or body of Christ, will be God's channel of blessing to all the families of the earth in harmony with the promise made to Abraham.